Her partner this year, Kiki Rice, was excellent, as you mentioned, the 20 point game in that first round victory over CBU. Away we go. So here is the Creighton starting five for Jim Flannery. This is brought to you by Capital One. The all senior starting five, and they do a whole bunch of that. They'll cut and screen you to death. First half against UNLV, and then erupted for 23 second half points. So she gets going a little earlier. There's Lauren Betts, six foot seven. They get a lot taller it changes how Creighton is going to have to defend them completely and it gives them a huge anchor in the paints this is Rice their dynamic sophomore point guard into the paint now po uh, best that is a deep post catch and that's a defensive possession that UCLA loves keeping it in the hands of Mallory break really the non-offensive threat but Haran inside the run sick. That's an off balance fadeaway. Nicely done. Jensen went for the steal. Osborne the spin. Osborne out to Rice. Wants it. Yeah. She has been the engine all year for this 26 win UCLA team. Oh, count the basket. Jensen going to the line. Has already splashed a couple of threes in this game. So you really overplay her, and she's able to cut. So 11 for Jensen already on the heels of the 25-point game. Betts, oh, just muscles her way in. Couldn't get it to go. The offensive board of the stick back. Hawkes there. The size advantage is just immense here. Yeah, 6'7", over 6'1". You could... Morganson looking for somebody. This is Molly has the smaller Jones on her, so that time Creighton exploits the matchup. Rice got a hand on it, so now it's a third look on this trip down the floor. That's another. Too easy. And this is just so difficult to guard when UCLA overloads one side so that... Molly launches high Archer. She splashes it. Extending possessions. Betts close range. Yes. And that's what happens when you don't defensive rebound. Only had two losses since mid-December. Both of those to the UConn Huskies. Oh, Molly. Great cut in the vision from Ronsick. It's 2020. The motion. Watch the cutting and the screening. Yeah. Yeah, you just, you have to pressure UCLA so much to know if they're going to switch. If they're not, they attack these screens. Lauren Jensen, a stop after a turnover. Creighton shooting very efficiently on this end of the floor. Morganson not going to have too many more open looks tonight. So you just saw Cameron Brown come in. Lauren Betts, again, the 6'7 all-conference star back on the floor. Trying to harass Ronsick here. That's pretty in Westwood. And big adjustment here. They're now really fully doubling Lauren Betts. But Kiki Rice finds a way to exploit that and sneak inside of Lauren Betts with her efficiency. Ronsick. Oh, and three. Ronsick now with seven. Creighton has hit four triples. Osborne trying to answer. That's pure. And UCLA is going to need more of that. Past the midway mark in the second. Osborne, or Betts, or pass inside to Betts, and she got it to go. Again, again. UCLA has to just keep forcing that in anytime it's single coverage. Emma Ronsick. Mogensen comes down with another rebound. So that's what Creighton is looking for them to do. Emma Look Ronsick. how quickly that one developed. Runs rim to rim and able to shoot it over Laura Betts. Oh, look who's open. Cameron Brown on the backside there. Nice find by the sophomore. Mogensen flashes. There's Jensen now on the attack. Off the window. That's down. Hakez 0 of 3 from the field to start. Osborne looking. Hakez on the attack. Underneath the reverse. Riala Hakez is a big matchup problem in this game because of her length and speed. Oh, the transition attack again, and it's Kiani Lockett who lays it up and in. The Blue Jays in a rhythmic groove right now with a 10-point lead. Hakez, the catch, puts it up. That's good. So 25 seconds to go. Jensen trying to take the forward off the bounce. The turnaround falls through. 
Jensen with 17. Finding a mismatch, taking a big off the bounce. Shot clock off, eight seconds. Brown rolls the layup, that's good. Four seconds now. Hey, the turnovers were problematic for UCLA in that first half. There's Mallory Brake's first basket of the night. Dugalic wants it. That's a big three. And when we talked to Corey Close about the main focuses with them, pressure was the number one important word in, in terms of pressuring this Creighton. Rice with seven points, just two of six shooting from the floor. Dumps it in, bets, turns, got it with the left. Rice picks it up, Hawkes. Near turnover, fumbles to Hawkes, throws it up, that's it. To affect the inbound pass, you got to stay vertical and straight up. Molly going to work on Brown, goes up with the left, that's good. Morgan Molly. Brown, out of perimeter threat, hands off to Rice. Rice, the step back three, puts it in, and UCLA back within two. Jensen, the off-balance runner, that's there. A nice response of the Blue Jays. Jensen, the off-balance runner, that's there. A nice shape, which hasn't led since late in the first quarter, has a chance, maybe with a three to do so here. Pitch, meanwhile, ties it up. UCLA. UCLA needs to stay intentional, intentional about trying to keep Lauren Betts. Missed everything. Here comes UCLA with a chance to take a lead. This is Rice. Got it! The sophomore, Key Key Rice, will not be denied. Key Key Rice. And that's a record, so both programs continue to raise the ball. Lockett, wow, that's pure. Kiani Lockett inside of a minute now in the third quarter. This is Rice trying to put some more pressure on the Creighton defense. Gets the turnaround. Ronsick falls on it. New 20 now for Creighton. Jensen open after the scramble. Yeah! Lauren Jensen cans another. Bets back out to Dougal. She can hit this. Another from deep. Rice working off the screen, probes the baseline, puts it up and in. And at the most critical time, the ball, five and a half to go. The there. ball pressure, the denials, it is nonstop. Well, there's a clean look that you've been talking about. Creighton finally gets. Rice again, steps into the mid-range, that's good. Kiki Rice is surgical. In this second round matchup. Molly goes up with the left, count it, and the foul. Winner moving on to face LSU in the Sweet 16. The loser season is over. Mogensen buries a three. Molly Mogensen. Job of identifying mismatches. This time it's your point guard being defended by the 6-7 forward. Just Let's see if they try to get it into bets here. Just 10 seconds, sideline out of bounds. Mismatch. Osborne in the paint, the runner is good! Kiki Rice, 8 of 8 from the line, try to get the ball in her hands. To Rice, 2 seconds, Creighton doesn't foul, game over! UCLA headed back to the Sweet 16 after erasing a double-digit second-half deficit. They storm back, and it's now back-to-back -back Sweet 16 appearances for the Bruins.